So good morning and welcome along to another ride. Um, I'm getting over a cold, so I don't know how well we're going to go today. I've already struggled up the first climb. We've done three climbs already. We're in Shepton Mallet and we're on our way to uh, Lullington, the other side of Froome. We're going to see Gloucester Lodge, which is dubbed Lullington Castle, which apparently dates back to 1434, or so Wikipedia says, so <laughs> anything could be true. So I'm out today with Joe, Justin again, Steve from last week as well, and Ben, who we've not seen for quite a while. Had a few issues falling off his bike, but he looks okay now, and he's beat me up one of the hills, so he can't complain. Yeah, we've hit another hill. Oh, I'm struggling again. Oh, it's not good. It's not good. Especially as I thought this bit of the map when I did the route was flat. And we're now on climb number five. <laughs> one day I'm going to be fit in one of these videos. So we made it to Froom, up another climb. That's about seven little ramps in it. We haven't even come to the main climb of the day yet. <laughs> Never. <laughs> yeah, we've got to go up uh, East, East Hartry back onto the Mendips. Um, I am a bit wheezy, but we'll carry on. Um, yeah, not far from Froom. And then uh, the castle is the other side. You can go back out that way. Do you want to have a crack at the KOM? Up on the couples. <laughs> We're coming into Lullington. We've just seen a glimpse of the castle. It looks quite big. Unless that was just somebody else's chimney. Go. Gloucester Lodge, which is uh, dubbed Lullington Castle. That's uh, another entrance into Waterlee Golf Course, apparently. But a uh, bit of a circle going round. Do you know it was there? No. no? no. Good you know it was there, Justin? No, You're more local than we are. No? No, anyone on me. So it does exist. I, I thought somebody made it up because I'd never heard of it. But it's definitely there. Okay, just had a sense of deja vu as we opened up down into that descent with that vast expanse of a, a lovely view and uh, realised that most of us have actually been on the ride that we went to um, Norton St Philip and Farley Farm Shop probably before I was vlogging and we came that way and it's uh, everybody just had the same thought as they're on that ride as well they've been there before so funny thing how the memory works but we're on our way now to Buckland Dinham and then Mel's for coffee. And always hesitating, kryptonite desire set my heart afire. So Joe, do you not feel safe sat under this tree? <laughs> Still got your helmet on. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> so that's coffee and cake done. We're gonna join the bike path now, just up the road at Mel's and take that all the way into Radstock. And then uh, we're heading over to the East Hartree climb now to get back onto the Mendips. <laughs> the big climb of the day. Hopefully, it won't be too bad.
Okay, so this stretch of the bike path we've done before uh, it takes us to Jack and Jill Hill, which is just over there to my left. So this is the new stretch that I've not done that takes us all the way into Radstock. So hopefully it's pretty much the same. It's better than the main roads anyway. Um, that was a little unexpected and not great with this cold. So I've got to take some shelter for a minute. I suppose it's one thing, we didn't have any of this last week when everything else went wrong, so if it's just the rain today, that's not a, not a bad trade-off, is it? No. We didn't stay long for the sun to come back out again, but if you look over there where we've just come from, <laughs> it's still absolutely hammering it down. Oh, excuse me, where's the cough? Looks uh, decidedly good that uh, we're not going that way. We're going that way where the blue sky is. Thankfully. Right, so we're approaching the bottom of East Hartree Climb. Joe and Steve have just been smashing it on the front where we've been clinging on. They've been doing what the pros do in the Tour de France where they smash it right up to the bottom of the climb. So when we all get to the climb, we're all dead and they can fly off in the distance. But how are you feeling about this one, Justin? I don't think I'm going to keep up with those two today. No, they are. They are both flying. Every time you pull alongside Joe, he gives it a little bit more. He's one of those half wheelers. <laughs> he doesn't like being passed at all, does he? No. Anyway, onwards and upwards. These types you climb, which for its consolation has a great view over to your left shoulder. I should point out I picked this route knowing I'd been ill this week because it looked the, easy, the easier route I've got all lined up, which just goes to show we've got some hard climbs and routes coming up in the next few weeks. But just trying to stay within myself and not exceed a high heart rate, uh, see if I can get round it. But it was 102 kilometers and about a thousand meters of climbing. So not the easiest, not the easiest rides to welcome yourself back after a cold. But there we go, I've enjoyed it though. You didn't enjoy it then? Oh. <laughs> enjoyed it too much. So do you enjoy that one? Yeah, very good. You take the KOM points. Justin, you said you weren't going to keep up with those two. Uh, I, miss, I, I underestimated. Well I underestimated. You were miles beyond. Yeah. Blimey. One, two, three. Yeah. Yeah. This sweet heat is suffocating. And always hesitating Kryptonite desire Set my heart afire Just got the downhill descent down into Wells And then hopefully across the moors back to Glastonbury but, woo, Yeah Just about Just about managed it today Set my heart afire Another part time ride, Justin. Absolutely, they're going to come with half route has to. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for your company, guys. Yeah, okay. We'll thanks, see you again yeah, soon. Cheers, must have done some good yeah, you yeah. off as well? Yeah, might as well. Uh, Been at Glastonbury once. So, I'm, I'm the one to seal, but I'm the one doing the full distance. <laughs> Something wrong somewhere. So there we are, 100k done, 1200 meters of climbing. It is amazing what the body can do, uh, even when your head thinks that you're not capable of doing it. And I've managed okay today. I've just, just managed myself. 
But anyway, um, some of those shots today, if you're wondering how I got some of those shots, I've actually got the uh, Insta360 1R camera, of which uh, if you like those shots and you're interested in buying one of the camera, um, you can ask me some questions about how I'm finding it at the moment. Obviously it's the first time I've really used it. Um, but there is an affiliate link down in the description which will uh, help support the channel if you want to buy one through that affiliate link, which I very much appreciate. Yeah, another ride done. Another new place discovered, Gloucester Lodge or Lullington Castle. And uh, I think we broke Ben. I think he was glad to get back to Wales at the end of the day. But a good crew today, nice ride, nice company. And uh, yeah, apart from that one odd shower, it wasn't too bad a weather, to be honest, quite warm. But anyway, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and click the notification bell just to get notified of when we're uploading new videos. Hopefully, now I've gotten over this cold, um, I'll be able to put up a few videos. Although Pete's now back at work this week, finally, after having uh, mo most of the year off. Um, so he's not gonna be back for a few weeks. So a few of the video ideas we had have been shelved for a little bit until he's back in the fold. But enjoy your week working week, Pete. Back like the rest of us now. Anyway, we will see you in the next video.